Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the International Pantry on Lindsay Street here in Norman. This shop has lots of cook and bakeware, and it's also home to cooking classes. Just a mile east of I-35 on the iconic Lindsay Street that leads to OU, the International Pantry is celebrating its 40th year in business. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, let's take a break and relax a little bit. And the perfect place for that, one of Oklahoma's many wineries. Right now, Quinn Tran is going to take us to Cold Creek Winery near Tuttle. Tuttle, Oklahoma is home to one of the newest wineries in the state. Open in January 2018, Cold Creek Vineyard and Winery is family owned and operated. It's already making a name for itself, a beautiful winery with charm and character. Everybody here is, is friendly. Um, you know, you, you won't feel like a stranger when you walk in. The atmosphere here is great. Plus, we, we have some really great wine. The unique tasting bar allows visitors to try a variety of wines. There's something for everyone, dry, sweet, even frozen wines. Those are delicious. Every one of them that they've made is, has been good. I had the Bellini, the peach Bellini, and uh, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> you can really taste the peach in it, and it's nice and cool and refreshing on a, on a hot day. Every day, the wine is carefully crafted, produced in-house, bottled, and labeled on site. Well, that makes it really unique that it's, uh, it's local, you know, and we like to support local. Coal Creek offers about a dozen different wines. Some of them are named after special locations that are sentimental to the people of Tuttle. As far as the names of our wine from Coal Creek, we've got a Red Hill Merlot, we've got a Second Bridge Chardonnay, Rabbit Road Riesling, and anybody that's from this area, they see that and it's an automatic laugh or giggle. Oh, I've been there. I know what happens there. How do you know about that? You're not from here. So I wanted to incorporate Tuttle as much as I could. Owner Lisa Griffin helps visitors explore Oklahoma beyond her wine. A boutique style gift shop features several made in Oklahoma products, vintage photographs, and look closely at the decor. The ties that line the windows are a tribute to Lisa's dad, who instilled in her a strong work ethic and entrepreneurial spirit. This has now turned into a family spot. This has turned into, this has turned into a destination. And so I'm accepting the challenge every day of what that means to keep that an Oklahoma destination. And we just love it when people come in because they're like, wait, you didn't even know this was here. Yes, welcome, come back. We have a great time. You know, we have all kinds of fun things going on. Fun things include bingo night and live music on the patio. The winery also has an event center hosting weddings and other special occasions that accommodate up to 450 guests. This is a beautiful property, a place that brings people together. It's family, it's town. You know, it takes a village and I just want everybody to feel like home here. In Tuttle, Oklahoma, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma. The Coal Creek Winery is open seven days a week. You'll want to call ahead to reserve rooms for private tastings. And if you're looking for other wineries across our great state, head to the website travelok.com and request a copy of the Oklahoma Wine Trail brochure. And after you've had time to relax at the winery, it might be time for a little toe tapping. I think so. And of course, Oklahoma has a lot of very talented country musicians. Happy to help you with that. Once a month at the Paul's Valley Opry, they draw quite a crowd. That'll be the day when you say goodbye. It's been said that we are all musicians in a way. You make me cry, you say you're gonna leave. And that we all have within us two very powerful musical instruments, the brain and the heart. When I die, well, that'll be the day. You say Music can move one's soul. It can create a harmony to our lives. And in a world where many of us are on autopilot, music can flip that switch back to real life. At the Paul Valley Opry, music is the glue, the common denominator that brings everyone together. For the creators of the Opry, Woody and Becky Hill, it's more than just entertaining and having a good time. There's something more. For them, it's actually a ministry. We've got to minister to so many people we didn't know and wouldn't have known because of it. It's been fun. We've made all kinds of relationships and showcased oh, unbelievable talent from all over the state and surrounding areas. It's just amazing how much talent is here, and they have no place to sing. They have no place to perform. So these Opry things are great for them, and we've just loved it. 
This is the Memory Makers Band, a group of extremely talented musicians. For example, this gentleman is Charlie Archer. He used to play with Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. They are the house band, and every month various singers from around Oklahoma and from out of state come here to perform. Mary Batiata came here from Arlington, Virginia, and it's her second time to perform at the Paul's Valley Opry. I didn't really quite know what I was doing. It was also new, uh, but I had a great time, and people were so nice, and so I'm thrilled to be back a second time because I actually feel like I'm kind of seeing more of it now. I'm, I'm calmer, you know. The first time, I was like, oh. I think it's wonderful. Um, I'm, I've been really impressed from the start by how professionally run it is. It's amazing to me. Uh, the quality of the musicianship is really high. This impressive band plays traditional country. You'll hear music from the 50s, the 60s, 70s, gospel music, and rock and roll. Woody works on the show two months in advance. All the music, the charts, the materials are sent in advance to the band members. Consequently, rehearsal time is even more important. And this is the only time we're actually all together one time, you know, before we actually put on the show. So you have to be a really good student and, you know, very diligent in your process and to, to pull this thing off. It's fantastic. We look forward to it because it's, it's, um, everybody works so much on the specific, uh, specific songs, you know, get them exactly like the recording as much as possible. And that makes it neat. And, and then we can interact with the, with the guests, you know, a lot of you know, talented guests come through. We have such a good time, we really do, and you'll see that tonight. And I did see it. Everyone had a wonderful evening. It was a fun, old-fashioned, family-friendly, great time where music brought people together in harmony in the comfortable atmosphere of friendship. I tell people that it's like the best friends getting together for a jam with 300 of their closest friends out in the audience. It's just, it's just great. It's a lot of fun. It is like a family reunion. I love it. I love the music and everything about it. It's fabulous. You're amazed at the amount of talent that they have here and it's such a group. It's just amazing and you're surprised by each one. Everyone is good. Everyone is wonderful. So it's just great to get to come and see them and enjoy the music. And Becky says once people come out for a show, they are hooked and return all the time. They see people that they haven't seen. It's like a, you know, a homecoming, a family reunion or something. So we always say, you never know who you'll see at the Opry. See you at the Opry, so come on. <laughs> The Pauls Valley Opry is the first Saturday of every month. It takes place at the Pauls Valley High School Auditorium and you can buy tickets at the door. Their new website will be online soon, but you can always check their Facebook page for up-to-date information. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. It's been a theater and it was a general store and from then from the 40s until 1992, it was the Stag Bar. The story behind this historic Southern Oklahoma building and what's inside now. I've been cooking since I was seven years old with my grandmother. First thing I ever made was cornbread. Wait until you see what she's got cooking right now. A lot of things they see, they'll say, oh, I remember that when I was back on the farm, you know, grandma or grandpa had it. And uh, basically, it's, it's just stuff, that, it's nostalgia. Plus, a trip back in time in a central Oklahoma shop will take you there when Discover Oklahoma continues. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes Shooting Star History in Hitchcock, home to Living History exhibits. Whether you love the day or enjoy the night, this is the land of color and light. Cities stretch out and buildings stand tall. Music and games entertain one and all. TravelOK.com has all this. Come see for yourself or you'll miss what you miss. Welcome back to the International Pantry in Norman. We're checking out some of the cutest kitchen items with an Oklahoma theme. And with football season right around the corner, this would be a great place to stop on the way to an OU game. That's right, and for fans heading to Norman or Stillwater from southern Oklahoma, you might want to stop off in Ardmore at a cute little shop called The Stag. We have apparel, gifts, baby, garden in the spring, pumpkins in the fall. That's our goal, is one-stop shop. The Stag is located in the Depot District, and the building has quite a history in Ardmore. It was built in 1894. There was a fire in 1915, and it, uh, it burned except 
the, all of downtown burned except for the, the front of this building was left standing and the explosion in uh, 1915, same thing, this building was left standing. It's been a theater and it was a general store and from then from the 40s until 1992, it was the stag bar. Now the building is filled with clothes for men, women, kids and babies, gifts and so much more. On the men's we have vineyard vines, which is very rare for a town this size. And then on the women's side, we have a little bit of everything. We have some business professional, we have dresses, we have jeans, we have athletic wear, regular t-shirts, a little bit of everything. I shop here a couple times a month and I come in and buy gifts uh, for other people and for myself, baby clothes. Perfect <laughs> place for little gifts and knickknacks. Now the building is filled with clothes for men, women, kids, and babies, gifts, and so much more. We have a bunch of kids' toys, we have some kid t-shirts. On the porch you'll find plants and flowers in the springtime and pumpkins and mums in the fall. Visit downtown Ardmore and check out the stag. You'll find great stuff for you, your home, and anyone on your list. It's unique, it's fun, and uh, there's something for, for everyone. The Stag is located at 119 East Main Street in Ardmore. They're closed on Sundays, but open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the week and 10 to 5 on Saturday. And not too far from there, there's a locally owned spot that's cooking up some of the best food in southern Oklahoma. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy shows us what's on the menu at Ollie's Juke Joint in Kingston. We have our own little Louisiana right here in Ennis, Oklahoma. Louisiana, Mississippi, all balled up into one. There were a couple ladies that, uh, co-workers at our previous place of employment. Anyway, when that job was over, they said, let's do something. I said, like what? They said, let's open a restaurant. I said, I know nothing about a restaurant. You know, they said, well, we do. I've been cooking since I was seven years old with my grandmother. First thing I ever made was cornbread. Um, my recipe, they started off, my gumbo came from my Aunt Evelyn. Um, I took it and I modified it to fit us, you know. Uh, she would put anything that she could get on sale at the fish market. But me, I just stick to, you know, just some andouille and a little chicken breast and some shrimp. Jumbo and red beans and rice and uh, jambalaya. We do crawfish boils, shrimp boils, something unique, something different, something uh, they enjoy the food, enjoy the service, enjoy the atmosphere, and I think we're, we're there with that. Everything we do is, is homemade. I mean, we, these girls come in here at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and cook all day long to open up at 4 in the afternoon. So it's all fresh, it's all home cooked. The popular one is our gator bait. Our gator bait is just boudin. Boudin has been stuffed into a jalapeno pepper, wrapped with bacon and deep fried, and served on a plate with some Jezebel sauce and some comeback sauce. It's just good and yummy. Um, we just, I try to just bring a uniqueness, something that you can't get away, you know, get around here. Some of the things that I craved when I first moved down here that I was used to eating in Mississippi and, and Louisiana and I couldn't get those things, and so we bought them here. My red beans and rice, my secret is not to use the ham hocks like everybody else do. I try to use the smoked turkey. It's not as greasy that way, you know? Um, can't tell you all of my secrets, and then somebody else will store them a restaurant. <laughs> I have buttermilk pie, mm -hmm. and it is absolutely delicious, and they serve it warm, and it has the cinnamon sugar over the top of it, and I order it every time I come. Usually I get the uh, chicken alfredo. It's different than you get anywhere else, and it's, it's really, really good. And then I love coming here because the service is great. So they're always friendly. Ollie always goes to tables and talks to everyone. I just get a thrill out of it when we're packed and we have a band going, I could do two or three jobs at the same time. You know, I just thrive over it. I just, I love it, I do. I try to keep it simple because it's all just good Southern cooking. It's, it is, it's just Southern cooking. It's not Cajun cooking, Creole cooking, it's just good home cooking, you know. And, and my grandmother said, if you put your heart in it, you give love, it's gonna always be good. So that's our special ingredient, is love. When they taste the food, when they taste our food, they be like, oh my God, 
this is like the cornbread that my grandmother used to make. Or, oh my goodness, when they taste Kathy's pie, oh, I wish I was on my grandmother's porch. That's what I want people to, to take away, you know, or when they get that first bite of that gumbo, Oh my God, it's nothing like I thought it was going to be. It's savory. It's just, it has a kick. It has everything to it. I just want you to just feel like you're part of our family, the Juke Joint family. Ollie's is open for dinner Thursday through Sunday nights. You'll find them at 4030 Enos Road in Kingston. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We take it from scratch and then we, we stain it or we paint it, we scuff it, we, whatever it takes uh, to make it look farmhouse. Meet the folks creating a rustic look for Oklahoma shoppers. They're going to find lots of love <laughs> because I believe that uh, when you cook food, you have to put love into it. And wait until you hear what else goes into some of the best pizza in Tulsa. It's all coming up when Discover Oklahoma continues. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by Post Oak Lodge in Tulsa. Don't miss their wine and jazz festival over Labor Day weekend. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're coming to you today from the International Pantry in Norman, where they have a fantastic collection of made in Oklahoma products. So many great things to check out here. Absolutely, and if you love to shop, you're going to love our next story. Tiffany Tatro is going to take us to Farmhouse Decor in Choctaw. Farmhouse Decor is a hidden gem out here in Choctaw. Whether it's furniture or clothing, they have anything you're looking for. For many folks, walking into farmhouse decor is like taking a stroll down memory lane. And a lot of things they see, they'll say, oh, I remember that when I was back on the farm, you know, grandma or grandpa had it. And uh, basically, it's, it's just stuff, that, it's nostalgia. The farmhouse-inspired boutique carries custom, one-of-a-kind creations made by the store owner. We do our own furniture. Uh, we get this furniture and then we take it from scratch and then we, we stain it or we paint it, we scuff it, we, whatever it takes uh, to make it look farmhouse. The family owned store has a laid back, welcoming environment. We don't pressure nobody, we welcome them when they come through the door and make them feel comfortable as possible. While furniture is their top seller, farmhouse decor carries a lot more. Well, we have a variation of uh, things we sell. We sell a lot of uh, antique stuff, uh, a lot of uh, farmhouse stuff. We have the tie-dye shirts, and uh, we're in the process of building a man cave right now for the men that uh, like to come in with their wives that don't have anything to do. The store prides itself on not only having a large variety of unique finds, but also keeping prices low. We try and keep our prices down to where people can afford it. You know, we're not uh, extravagant on our prices, I don't think, uh, but we do want people to come in and take a look to see what they might find. Even their large custom pieces won't cost you a fortune. This table here is $200. That's for the four chairs and the, and the table. And those chairs are very comfortable. I didn't think they would be, but I sat in one the other day and it's very comfortable. On the off chance you don't find exactly what you're looking for, Come back another day and you'll be greeted with that same warm welcome. If they find something fine, if they don't, hey, well, you know, welcome back. Come back again sometime, you know. In Choctaw, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Farmhouse Decor is at 11323 Northeast 23rd Street in Choctaw. They're closed on Sunday and Mondays, but open 1130 a.m. to 530 p.m. during the week and 10 to 4 on Saturday. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. People get shocked and I love watching the expression when, when I'm in the kitchen and they look over and they go, oh my Lord. The pizza place you've just got to visit when Discover Oklahoma continues. Set a course for excitement with your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. It's your all-in-one handbook for outdoor inspiration. Cabins, campsites, comfy lodges, breathtaking adventures, and so much more. Order yours at TravelOK.com. 
We've had lots of fun today here at the International Pantry in Norman. That's true, and they know a lot about good food here. And if that's something else you're thinking about when it comes to pizza, may we suggest you try out Jimmy's New York Style Pizza in Tulsa. Julie Chen's gonna take us there. It's lunchtime at Jimmy's New York Pizzeria, where the cheese is hot, the pizza is hand-tossed, and you're invited to make yourself at home. Hey, Jimmy! That's Jimmy in the kitchen. I'm born and raised from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I grew up in New York eating pizza. He and his wife Evelyn moved to Oklahoma nearly 20 years ago. They opened this restaurant last year. Their whole family works here from kids to in-laws, and even if you're not related, they'll still treat you like family. I say customers because that's what people understand, but they're my guests. This is not a restaurant. I look at it as my home. You're invited into my dining room. And we eat in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> the food is just incredible, it's amazing, and then the people here are just like family. Family recipes are dished out here. Everything is fresh and made to order. It's just really, really good. Jimmy uses organic produce and flies in special East Coast ingredients. However, it's what you can't buy that Jimmy says makes his food so good. They're gonna find lots of love. Yeah, because I believe that uh, when you cook food, you have to put love into it. And there's lots to love here, from pastas to the top-selling stromboli. My favorite is the stromboli. It's, you know, just a pocket of meat and cheese, and it's great for us carnivores. And you can't stop in without trying the New York pizza with its nice, thin crust. From classic cheese to the popular pepperoni to specialty pies named after New York's five boroughs, there are so many choices. Or you can build your own and name it like Jackson. Well, my favorite pizza is the Lola Jacks. It has the sauce, the cheese, um, pepperoni, Italian sausage, bacon, and then extra cheese. Jimmy sells by the pie or by the slice, and that slice is supersized. When you get a 12-inch slice, like back home from New York, which are the huge slices, people get shocked. And I love watching the expression when, when I'm in the kitchen and they look over and they go, oh my Lord. It's a nice experience because it starts out their meal really well. So how authentic is this pizza? I brought in my favorite New York Jimmy, my dad, for a taste test. Born in New York City, Manhattan. So you've had a lot of experience with New York pizza, huh? 60 years worth. <laughs> so what do you think, Dad? This is definitely New York pizza. It's really good. It's, it's the best I've seen in, in Tulsa. I've been here four years. And of course, you can't have the New York pizzeria experience without saving room for dessert. Jimmy's features two kinds of cannolis, chocolate and classic. They also serve New York cheesecake. And then there's this, the cheesecake calzone. Inside this pastry, there's cheesecake, and you'll only find this here in Oklahoma. My personal favorite is the cheesecake calzone. And everybody's like, hot cheesecake? No, but it is to die for. It is so good. Jimmy's New York Pizzeria, serving up a slice of New York with Oklahoma hospitality. This is New York pizza at its best. A thousand thank yous. Um, you know, I feel that they've made my dream come true as supporting us, being here, uh, enjoying the food, and um, I pray that in return I've made their dream come true by enjoying a good New York pizza, pasta, and a good New York experience. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the great folks here at International Pantry in Norman for hosting us this week. Be sure to visit them on Lindsay Street for all sorts of cooking and baking supplies along with several Made in Oklahoma products. And check out their website for information on several cooking classes they host here at the shop. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, take a spin on the Ferris wheel that overlooks the Oklahoma River. Plus, dinner worth the drive, why you need to load up the car and head to this southwestern Oklahoma spot. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.